Howdy everyone. We're going to let Facebook uh, settle in here and uh, see if uh, I can see anyone join me. But, but tonight um, I wanted to talk a little bit about how does a tea reading actually work. Um, I know I've t covered this subject but it was probably many moons ago so um, so I wanted to come on and just give a little brief explanation and a b brief demo on how the tea leaves actually or how a tea leaf reading actually works um, when we do it online. But first, let me at least introduce myself. <laughs> My name is Kathy. Um, I'm a tea leaf and tarot reader. I've um, been reading professionally over um, five years now. And I really have evolved in what I'm doing and how I'm doing readings. Obviously, a lot of people have had to pivot. Hi, Heather. Have, um, have had to pivot because of COVID. Um, and a lot of what I do has been online now. So, uh, so I just thought I would um, come on and demonstrate, well, not even demonstrate, at least um, <laughs> let you guys know how it all works, my beliefs, and why I think that this is actually a great way to get a tea leaf reading. Um, hi, Margaret's here too. Um, and, um, and yes, we do not have to be in person to actually exchange energy for me to pick up um, what um, might be bothering you or what direction you should head into or um, just answer your questions in general. So, hi, Donna's here as well. Thank you for joining me, Donna. Um, so, usually when I've got a booked tea leaf reading, we would be doing, um, the first thing I would be doing is asking you to pick a cup, um, but I just reached over and picked up the first one um, that's within reach here. Um, and yes, I do have the teacup on my side. I have a bunch of them here, but um, generally I have three that I read more often from. I have done um, videos on why I choose certain ones, um, but just to be simplistic, this one's got a rounder bowl, if that's the right, and I find the leaves sit really well on here as opposed to those ones that might be taller or and thinner at the bottom. Um, I don't find that it, um, it sits, um, the leaves sit as well, and there, it, I just find this easier to read. So, now I've picked, or you've picked a cup, if, if you're getting a reading, and then we're going to take some loose leaf tea. Now, I prefer rooibos because it's very tiny leaves. Um, now, if you don't have loose leaf tea, you could take a tea bag, and I do have some hiding away here. You could take a tea bag and break it apart. Now, I recommend that you don't get it wet. You actually break the, the bag and put it into your cup, just like I'm gonna do with the rooibos one. So I'm gonna scoop out some leaves and put them right there into the cup. So I know you won't be able to see that well, but anyways, there's a bunch of leaves. I And there is there's a trick to how many, because if you have too many leaves and too little water, or too little water and too many leaves, and everything just kind of clumps together, or it moves too much where you don't get really nice signs and symbols come in. So um, yeah, so for me, it's about, I don't know, a quarter of a teaspoon, which is what this is. Um, that I use, and again, I wouldn't use a whole um, tea bag. I wouldn't use all of the leaves from there. Then I have some water sitting around, and you only need about a cap full of water. So we put the water in there, and we make a mess. <laughs> yes, I have made a mess. Luckily, I have paper towels because I've done this before, and I know that you sometimes make a mess. So this is where I say the woo-woo or the, um, the setup kind of comes. Um, I'll ask my client to actually 
think about what sort of questions. So if they're asking about career or if they're asking about a loved one or if they're asking about business and, and what direction should they take, this would be when I would ask that person to think about that particular subject. So, and then for me, I would concentrate on the cup and the person that I'm reading for. And I do these readings as well, not just online, but I will do them as a email. So I just concentrate on that person and then have the cup uh, set up for them. So I'm just gonna do that now. I'm going to uh, to sit here and, uh, and just, um, Maybe not concentrate as much as I would, but I'm going to roll, roll the cup um, and I'll kind of concentrate on myself and maybe career. There we go. I'm going to roll the cup a little bit. As I said, think about what I want. And then I take the cup, actually turn it uh, upside down, give it a little twirl, and I like to tap it as well. So this is where the the interpretation or my intuition comes in now that we have a cup and i know if you're part of my my facebook uh, group you'll know that everybody seems to see something different um what i see what someone else sees um and even if they see the same thing there might be a different message so if you're not part of my spiritual readings by kathy i do recommend that you uh you do that and we do play and i'll call it a game just uh um where i'll post a teacup and then people tell me what they see and i provide messages based on what i see but i don't know if anybody sees anything particular in this one um but i do see a little bit of a monster in here so maybe that's about me kind of wrangling and whoops right there there's what I would call a monster. Um, maybe it's about me fighting some of my inner demons and me fighting um, uh, myself more than fighting other people and um, other things as well. But as I said, an interpretation um, really does come based on the person and based on their energy but um no two readings are alike um if you have had a reading for me you know we probably start at the cup and then we might be pulling out my cards um uh, tea leaf fortune cards or we might be pulling out the tarot as well i love my tarot and um or the pendulum the pendulum as well oh donna saw there you go and i i will use my pendulum as well for uh, for answers to questions so yeah so a seal or an otter that's um that's interesting so to me that is about things sliding off your back and not um keeping things um because they're very good swimmers, but they also have the water that kind of shakes off of them as soon as they leave. So to me, that's the symbol or the sign that the otter is. So I would say to you, Donna, don't let things get under your skin, um, brush them off and, um, and keep going. So uh, it's not always easy to do, but, <laughs> but it's, uh, excuse me, um, it is what we, uh, what that animal to me actually represents. So anyways, I just wanted to come on, do a quick little demo, let you guys know um, how easy it is to do a reading. Um, I do 30 or 60 minute readings, depending on, um, on what you prefer. And and how I tell people the difference between the two, it depends on how many. <laughs> uh, there you go, you saw the monster too, great. Um, the difference between a 30 or 60 is just how much information you need. So if you're only trying to decide one or two things and they're not really complicated, um, then 30 minutes is usually significant or uh, will be okay but if you feel like you've got lots of questions and lots to be uh, lots of 
of things that we need to cover or that you have questions for or um, then I always recommend the 60 minutes and and it's surprising how we can feel either time very quickly um, so yeah easier, easier said than done yes <laughs> I do recommend, I didn't uh, agree with you there Donna so uh, but um, but that's the advice that you uh, that you got um, today so so if anyone's looking for a reading um, it's you can always DM me you can text me you um you can actually push the book button that's on my my page here and it will give you my schedule and stuff but i do readings on sundays tuesdays thursdays and fridays so yeah there you go longer is better um again it depends on each person and um and their budget too so uh um but generally the longer ones you get more information that's is as simple as that so again i thank everyone for joining me tonight and hopefully we'll see you next tuesday or we'll see you at a reading take care bye